What is our goal when we come to read the Bible? Why make plans and set aside time and go about the energy and effort of doing it? Having this simple goal in mind is so helpful, to know and enjoy Jesus. Some people might say, well, I'm reading my Bible to renew my mind, or I want to jumpstart my heart, or I need guidance for my life. The Bible's God's playbook. I need to get instructions for how to live. And those things can all be true and helpful in various degrees. But the central and the most ultimate thing I want to say, and the kind of perspective I want you to bring to Bible reading, is to think about knowing and enjoying Jesus. Like the Apostle Paul said in Philippians chapter 3, verse 8, that the surpassing value is knowing Christ Jesus, our Lord. The greatest value in all of life and the greatest value in Bible reading is knowing him and enjoying him. This is what Jesus prayed for us in John 17, verse 3, that we would know his Father and that we would know him. That's what eternal life is, is knowing the Godhead and knowing Jesus. Or like Hosea says in chapter 6, verse 3 of Hosea, where he says, let us know, let us press on to know the Lord that the great cry of our Bible reading would be, let me know, let me press on to know Jesus. I want to know him. I want to enjoy him. The main thing that I'm looking to do when I come to the scriptures and open my Bible in the morning, I'm not mainly looking for to-dos. The Bible is for us, but it is not mainly about us. The Bible is telling us again and again about the person and work of Jesus. And the, and the way that God changes us, it's kind of counterintuitive. He doesn't mainly change us by us reading things that we should do and then going out and immediately doing them directly. The way he changes us most profoundly and most significantly is by connecting with the heart. When we come to the Bible looking for Jesus, wanting to know him and enjoy him, we're changed in the most profound ways. We're changed in the deepest sense. And then from there, we live lives that are more and more in accord with that. So as you come to the Bible, come to be amazed at Jesus. Come to see him, come to know him, and God by his spirit will take care of the external life change that will come into your life.